Now the other side, the other ear, is completely different. Um, we have an ear, I can do the other side for you, like that. Uh, yes, I can probably can. It means I'm not quite as close as I normally am, but you can see what I'm trying to achieve here. So here we've got, primarily we've got white. Let's just um, take some of that graphite off. You can see how important it was though to keep some of it on. Otherwise you really do get lost. Now that'll be enough. Right, now the white goes on. Again, it's it's on the edge here. Like that. I'm putting it in like this because it's more concentrated. Then we want the pink, which is one, three, two. It goes into the white because I said it's not white, it's more pink. And then we can put that pink down on that side. We will be putting the white back in again. But you see, we're nearly there. Not a lot to do. Gosh, the difference between one here and the other. How hard that was. Now the 181, 189 is the colour we've used a lot and there's a darker colour in here. Now let's just put that in there to start with and it will find a stronger tone. And I think you'll probably find the colour I select will be a surprise. Follow that down here. I think it might be an idea to blend that. Using what? Well, I'm just wondering whether I can use that colour at all. I probably can. A little of it anyway. Sometimes you can strengthen tones like that. I've strengthened it with that. Anyway, we don't really want it now. Then we can get rid of that. And we want to blend that in. But this is going to have to have a stronger tone on it. Now, I did say I was going to surprise you. Well, I am. I'm going to use the 194. This one. It's quite a strong colour, as you can see. But... If you don't use it too strong, you put a, a weaker pressure. You can see how nice it is. It really is the only colour you can use. It works out exactly the tone that we have here. And remember, we're going to be putting the white back on so we can afford to be slightly generous with our application. colors but as you can see it works well now I'm not going to do any more that's it maybe just a little bit of white Great. 
And that's the other rear down. And now we've got to use the grey. The grey in the back of the ear yeah, isn't too difficult. So I, I might just do that. It'll give me an idea of what I'm looking at. We've got a light that runs across here. Or we can put that a little bit of white in for that. It runs from here across there. And then we've got a shadow on that. So that's the white will be the first colour we use on this. And then we'll be using the grey. But we'll use the grey here because it's the shadow. And that can be put in direction of fur. Really important here. 270 this is. On top of that, we want the 233. No, we don't. We want the 273. I've been using the 233 a lot. That's the reason I've mentioned it. Uh, and I've now completely lost 273. It's got to be here because I've, be, I've already used it once. Here it is. 273. That's the darkest section. And we oh, oh, mm, yeah, mm. I'll hold off a minute. It's not dark enough though. So we get to there and we stop. And then we follow the direction of the fur. Now, the interesting thing is, what colour do I use? Well, when I'm finishing off, do you see if you can, we haven't used the colour yet. See whether you can work it out. There, in fact, there are two colours we're going to use, and I'll give you a clue in a minute as to which one I'm going to select. Well, one is obvious, because we've got to make it darker. And the only darker colour, grey colour I've got, is 275. No, 175. So that will be the colour I'm going to use here. In fact, I'll use this first. See how the colour is added to this. Now this can be used either with pressure or not. If you don't use it with pressure, you end up what I've got now, which is lovely. Lovely. Going on top of the greys, the two greys we put on, and it works really nice. But if you want some pressure, like I do here, you put a little more, a little bit more pressure on it. It's a little more strength. And as you see, it looked great. But it's not everywhere. And the reason I did that, like that, is because I'm going to put it in again. The 273 because there's a shadow over here. That was the reason I put the, the white in, which is primarily that colour. Okay. So 175 gives you that separation. But now what's the colour I'm going to use? I think I'll give you a clue. Well, you can see it in here, but you can't see it very well in there. But I know it's there because it's here. And that colour, folks, is... 169. So 169 goes in here. Now the reason it goes in here last, whereas here it will be in the same time as the grey, the light grey, is because I want it to be an influence only. I wanted to make sure the colour was dark. Well, there we are. Now oh, that's lovely. And the other reason it's good is because it's the same tones as these. Uh, color shaper doesn't matter which one but gray probably is advisable here you want to just you have to do this because you have to push the color into the paper otherwise you'll get sparkle which is the paper showing through so even once you've done this if you feel that you really need to put some more on then you do that which I do so 175 you can go back in this time it's not blended. There you go. Great. 